They mean a lot. <laughs> no, that's true. Holidays are not your thing. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Kwame. Hi, I'm Elaine. And uh, it's good to be back on your screens. It's close to Valentine and Kwame is the designated Grinch in the house. Yes. Yeah. But I thought it would be great to make it more of a reflective moment rather than like the commercial thing that Valentine's Day currently is. What, what does Valentine actually mean to you? Are you part of the people who like give in to the commercialness of it? I think we used to do that. Did we used to do Valentine's? Yeah. But now every day is Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't see no, that coming. Honestly, I mean, I think it's good to have a day that... I think it's nice if you like somebody you haven't told them yet so you can do something on Valentine's Day. But you can do that on any day, right? Yeah. I think showing appreciation and... Yeah, I think that's a good one. I normally used to send like a postcard to my grandmother and these kind of things. Not like lovey-dovey things, but more like... Family love. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Like a funny... like. Because they would expect a Valentine's card, but then it would be from their granddaughter. <laughs> That's also very nice, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm, I'm not one for romanticizing or commercializing Valentine, so... No. I think so I don't you're, have to you're... expect anything. Wow. <laughs> Putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Let me take it from here. So, I thought it would be nice to have a reflective moment. And I was actually inspired by Rihanna, Riri. <laughs> so, Look at how you're saying it like, like she's. Yeah, you actually said it like she's actually your yes, girlfriend. Yes, I hope you're watching. <laughs> no, but uh, well, I do hope, but I don't think so. Uh, because when she announced her pregnancy, which of course I'm such a happy auntie. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See, there were also some uh, uh, parts of an interview she gave like a few years ago where she literally manifested her whole life that currently is. So she, she said like, yeah, I, I hope to have a beauty brand and even a clothing brand. And uh, by that time, I hope to have started my family and, you know, have the found, uh, found the man I want to settle down with, all these things. And I was like, wow. That's very powerful. And that, that video was about uh, about five years or so Yeah, ago. I only read it, like, I read it as in the interview. Yeah. It's funny because you're really full. <laughs> yeah. We just ate something. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, we will both share where we see ourselves in five years. So, five years from now, Valentine's Day, where would we be? Yeah, and also it's not necessarily going to be, yeah, it's not going to be a, a romantic where we are, but it's more like personal dreams and... Yeah, so if I can start? Yeah, sure. For me, in five years, I hope we are still married. <laughs> I would isn't, like that. Isn't manifestation more of a... A dream? And a faith-based language okay, in terms okay. of... So I will in five years be still my life. I'm I'm, okay. I'm still married, okay, or yeah. I am married. I'm married with this wonderful gentleman. Yeah. Um. By that time, hopefully, we have started, or yeah, we are starting our family. I would love to still work on the continent of Africa, but it would even be better if I would have like I maybe can live in Netherlands, or we can live in Netherlands. So we'll be based in Netherlands instead of Ghana. And then I'll still travel in and out onto projects or whatever meetings they possibly need me. So that having, I mean, being close to my family and my friends in the Netherlands, I think that would be very nice um, for a change. And yeah, I think if we... In five years, for example, let me ask it, where are you? Uh... At what level in your career are you in terms of? You know? I would like, I mean, I'm already, I always enjoy working in teams. So I would want to be part of an amazing team. And whether I'm a manager or not, I think it's more detail. But it would be cool to be more in a leadership role as well. Um, yes, I'll be a yoga teacher. Good. <laughs> I'm working on that already. So that would be great. And hopefully have yoga content on the channel as well. 
yes, that's something we are secretly discussing. <laughs> and yeah, I think it would be great if I can have my days like arranged the way I want. So now I'm really tied to 7.30 to 4. And then we squeeze everything <laughs> else in, in, in afterwards. Yeah. And it would be, I know my productivity and I know that I know my peaks of productivity and I know that from 7.30 to 4 I won't be productive throughout. So for me I think I would like to fine tune how I can get the most out of myself work-wise and then apply that also a bit more into my routine. Yeah, and I also think that maybe perhaps in five years the world would have understood that um, the... Five days work week? Yeah, and also those 95 hours, eight hour working days are not necessarily um, the ultimate measure of productivity. Yeah, that would be nice, but I don't know. I, I hope so. Yeah, and even a four four day work week, I think that would be That'd great. Be, yeah. But for me, being in being a bit closer to my Netherlands base and traveling from there and starting our family, having a a nice house in the Netherlands. I mean, if we can start building in Ghana, that would be wonderful. But I think five years is a bit early. Looking at how things are in Ghana now, prices are crazy and yeah, and uh, we are taking care of our parents as well, yeah. you know, we make sure they're comfortable, like in our house, like people can just come in like for the weekend, my siblings come in, like just, yeah, every day there's music, you play music, it'd be nice. Yeah. So yeah. Have your manifestation. What about your pets? Mm, yeah, maybe a dog would be nice. Okay. So that's that's um, that's yours. That's your five years. Yeah. Okay. So what's your scenario? So in five years, well, my filmmaking career has uh, has developed from you know as a beginner. And I'm now settling into having my own voice, my own style. Um, in five years, I have at least five, five films, uh, narrative films to my name. It could either be shorts or feature length, but at least I have five world um, or critically acclaimed or worldwide recognized films to my names. In between that, I think um, there's also the concentration that in five years I would have uh, produced a lot of um, content for platforms, streaming platforms, whether documentary, documentary series. Yes, that's the kind of work. And I am part of a team, or in five years, I have a tribe that I work with that believe in the vision of creating these um, content and conversations or content that spark conversations or improve um, the knowledge of the African culture and education and also preservation of that culture as well. So I'm part of a team that believes in using film to do that. Um, in five years, I like money, so I'm financially comfortable. I don't worry about mm, my basics or, you know, day-to-day I can comfortably afford to take this lady on a holiday and not think about it. Um, I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, I can comfortably take the family on holiday as well and not think about it in the, in the next five years. I, I'm doing that. Um, I'd love to bounce between Ghana and Netherlands and other countries for work in that five years as well and streamline my work in such a way that uh, I can do work for a certain amount of time in a year and there's a break in between where it's more like hibernating, recouping and redesigning more content to be done and then you can just rest. So in between that time, you have time to be with your family because in five years, yes, I hope to have started the family. No, I have. I'm manifesting it. I've started the family. It's a beautiful family. There are two dogs. Oh, two. Okay. Yes. There's one Corgi. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's one Dachshund. Yes, Deco. Yes, in the house. And we're able to bounce between Ghana and the Netherlands. Hopefully having a home in the Netherlands and possibly 
possibly on the verge of owning a mother in Ghana. So, yeah. And of course, closer to family and friends, um, like Elaine mentioned, taking care of our parents uh, who are of uh, prime importance in terms of taking care of them because in five years, they, of course, we would have been older. They would have been older, older. Yeah. So they don't have to worry a lot about, you know, how to get around or how to get by. So in five years, yeah, it's more financial stability on that. Uh, yeah, yours is very money driven. Uh, yeah. Is that a problem? <laughs> uh, our dreams don't coincide, eh? It's not the same. Yeah, it's not money driven per se. I just feel that uh, it's not, I, I don't want to be, uh, I'm not saying I'm going to be, not so I don't want to be. No, let me take it back. I'm not saying I'm going to be a billionaire in five years. Mm -hmm. It's more about financial independence and comfort. There's a difference. There's a difference between saying that in five years I'm a billionaire, mm -hmm. realistically, um, seeing the tangent or the trajectory of my career, I'm sure that's what I want to, the kind of pressure I want to put on my future. So in five years, I'm financially comfortable. And I think the financial comfort and stability makes But I think we're already, because we work hard, both of us, I think. We are. Yeah, so. But we are better in five years. <laughs> okay, so the only way is up. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. I just think it's funny that the first thing I said was, I'm still married to you and you went straight to work. <laughs> Am I still there? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. My, the, <laughs> I'm working with my family, okay? In five years, we're still creating content. In five years, this channel will still exist? Yes, it will still exist. We're Please, still creating I, content. I went solo by then. I will be... <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Because if you are solo in that same house, if you decide to record, I'll make noise. <laughs> like all these farting sounds in the background. I'll and be, it's yes. you. Apart from farting sounds, you'll be recording and I'll just come and ask you a random question with the baby in my hand, knowing exactly where the thing I'm looking for is. <laughs> I just come and be like, oh babe, have you seen this? And like, I'm recording. Oh yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I close the door. As soon as you start talking again, oh yeah, this one too. Yes, I'm going to disturb you. Don't worry. Yes. I'll find another director. <laughs> director? You find another studio. Don't even record in the house. I don't even want to see it. Yeah, so you would be still have an office in the house, just like you have now? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have an I office have in the house. Make money then, because we need to um, get the space. Mm, yeah, I know. That's it's easier in Accra. It's easier in Accra. It's difficult in Netherlands still. So, yeah. That's, that's, you see, you see, financial stability. <laughs> Because if you're financially stable, you don't yeah. worry about these things at I, all. I hear you. Yes, but I'm very much married to you, in fact. <laughs> now that I finished working. Keep on emphasizing. Now, no, no, now that I finished working, I'm very so, much. So you will never get to. I really think. So, okay, maybe I should keep it to myself. Sorry. I, I don't think I would have had the career I wanted where I am now without you. I'm not kidding. Wow. Yeah, I was thinking about that this week. Turning things on me now. Because... I'm all about the money and the work and now she's yeah. making me all mushy. <laughs> it's because it's it's comfortable. Like, I know we, we kind of like the same way we... I'm getting teared up now. Um, I'm lost for words. <laughs> uh, I feel like we kind of found a, a way how to how we want to run the house, and it's in such a way that it gives us peace. And I think also when we have an issue or something is coming up, unless it's really something um, big, but most of the times when we have a misunderstanding, we're able to solve it quite quickly. So I, I, like this morning, I would just call you like, oh, I'm sorry. And then you're like, oh, it's fine. Like, it's nothing. Please go do your thing, you know? And I feel... It gives you peace of mind. Yeah. And I also still have like every time, I mean, yesterday I came home early 
don't worry, work new about that. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, let's do something together. Like, it's still there. I think yeah. I really like it. So I, I pray. <laughs> well, I don't pray, but... <laughs> You're manifesting it. Yeah, manifesting that. It's still that's there still the same, years. yeah. 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 The kids will be doing the break time, but we'll still find time. They'll be interrupting that uh, time, but yeah, yeah, we'll just, you know, you know, bunch ourselves all together and just hug and sit on the couch and watch TV together. Yeah, or do and, something fun or cook or then, yeah, and talk and make noise. Make cookies. Yeah. Do dancing parties. <laughs> you will be the DJ. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can be the yeah. DJ. I'll find a corner in the house. Nobody has to see me. No, I mean that you're the one playing the music for the yes, dance parties. Yes, nobody has to see me. No, you can dance too. No, nobody. They has will to come see catch me. you. They will find you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's that's. So I threw you off, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at there. Back to the money. Ha! Ah! <laughs> yeah. So that's where we are in five years. I don't know where you are in your manifestation in five years and where you dream. So we'll look back on this video in five years and see which one we're doing. Well, I was thinking we could do one every year. No, but that doesn't make sense because the leap is five years. Okay, we'll think about it. Yeah, we'll think about it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe or comment. We're also very curious to hear what you are going to be focusing on in five years. And maybe we'll get some inspiration from you. This is Kwame, I'm Elaine. And this channel is He's me plus you is us. You're getting more comfortable. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. As Gavin does, peace. And as I say, dag lieve mensen. Dag lieve mensen. Ruin it.